Um, hello everyone and welcome to my first ever YouTube video about team building. So today I'll be showcasing a team that I made a few, a few hours ago that I think is the cheapest one in the market right now. Which we have our reptile, our beast, and our plant. So for a reptile beast plant lineup to work, uh, our reptile should be faster than our beast. To prevent some backdoor birds like those with swoop to kill our beast so for the first thing that i did was uh, find a backliner reptile which had a uh, speed higher than 41 which is the speed uh, most pure beasts have so here i have a 44 speed reptile with a decent and high health so 53 health so for a reptile backliner to work, you must have one zero cost card. For the zero cost that I have, uh, I have Vidance, which offers 50 armor. So this is good against 1v1s against reptiles that has chomp. So we can remove the stun and have 50 armor. Now we have uh, the mouth card, which is why so serious. So this offers us a chance to win against double aqua teams since our midliner is generally weak to aquas. We also have the shoal star to add some last dance and offer us a bit of a high damage. And we also have the koi as our tail so that we can have some outplays with the speed lead that we have. Now for our midliner beast. So since I had a 44 speed uh, reptile backliner, now I have a chance to get a speed that is not pure, that has 43 speed and below. So for, uh, and also I needed some energy gain. So this is why I chose a beast with cotton tail as our tail card, so that we have some way to gain some energy. And also, uh, cotton tail is nice to be paired with Ronin, since Ronin needs two other cards to guarantee a critical strike. Cotton tail is a uh, gives us more chances to proc it. So we also have our Goda as our mouth card since this is nice in the early game to disrupt the energies of our opponents since for this lineup generally double aquas will opt to save some energy to double kill our beast and also our plant. Then uh, I chose a beast with Oranda. So Oranda offers us huge amounts of damage 120 and a decent armor which is 30. This also gives our mid beast a higher speed than normal beasts would have. So normal beasts would have 41, we have now 43. So this offers us a chance against other uh, other beasts since we have a speed lead and an aqua card. So lastly here we have our plant. So shout out to Indes for this plant. Uh, we found this last night. So here we have a pumpkin. Uh, vegetal bite, dual blade, and hot butt. So the dual blade is for the early game damage that we need since our beast isn't pure and we have a cotton tail which somewhat uh, lowers our damage against the opponent's plant. So we also have our hot butt which is good against other plants since we can disable their mouth card which is generally always the serious card. So uh, the balance of this team is overall quite decent and uh, so overall I spent about 0.45 worth for this team so it's quite decent uh, and with a decent price so let's go and start testing this build so let's hop onto a game to test our lineup Ooh. So we have uh, one of the popular ones right now, since I think Indes made a video out of it. So here we have a double anemone tank, 
with an aqua tail slap midliner and a all out shot backliner bird so ooh, we have nice cards so we can chuck all of this out and try to kill this oh wait we can just end turn since he has double anemone and burst him the following round Ooh, really aggressive but I think the plant should be fine yeah so now we know we now we know he has zero energy so let's try to burst this uh, double enemy tank out of the way Two cards, so we, we might, might be able to kill this Aqua. So now we know he has three energy since he used one tail slap. Let's just hope our backliner reptile gets enough cards for the two v one. Not a good draw. So let's just skip this turn and hope that we don't grab more zero cost for this backliner since we want to kill this aqua next turn. So now he has four energy. Ooh, this is hard. Ooh, we don't get the good draws. So to kill aquas like this, uh, we, ha we needed to have four cards. So since we can't kill it, we can just try since his bird is low right now so we can just throw away this card since for the 1v1 against this bird uh, we would only need like uh, about two cards so there this is good for us since he's doing some damage which we can just heal up with our wise so serious card so we can remove the moral down with the bidens get some speed advantage with the koi so th and is in the kill range so right now uh, we could just go for the high armor cards which we have the bidens and why so serious and just to make this safe we can add one star shuriken we're gonna save the upstream swim since this offers us more armor than our star shuriken so Let's see. Ooh, this is a close game. Ooh, we might win this one. So what he's planning is he wants to use four cards against our reptile. Ooh, we have good armor so to prevent some uh, to keep our chances of winning higher we can just uh, chuck one of this first so the wise of serious card since if we ever go to last stand if he crits we can kill the bird then two upstream swims then the bidens so here we go, let's go. So here are the prices of the team that I bought. So for the rep for the forty four speed reptile, I got it for point fourteen ETH for our 43 speed beast 
I got it for 0.15. And for our dual blade plant, I got it for 0.159. So that adds up, adds up to about 0.45 weth. So a quick recap on the team building process. So for a reptile beast plant to work, the reptile should be faster than our beast midliner. We also need some sort of energy gain in our lineup. So this could be a cotton tail on our mid beast or uh, this guys or leaf bug on our plant. But leaf bugs are more pricey right now and they offer less damage in the early game. Since for our early game line, for the early game, we need our mid and our frontliner to dish out the damage, while our backliner saves up a lot of cards for the 2v1 or the 1v1. So since we lack more damage uh, against our against the plant frontliner of the opponent, this offer dual blade offers uh, good balance in our team. So since our backliner reptile is generally good in the late game, we want our mid and our frontliner to be good in the early game. So for the early game, uh, we have our beast with Ronin and Oranda and Goda. So this offers a little bit less more damage than typical, uh, typical pure beasts. But we have an added advantage since it's 43 speed, right? So we can have some speed leads against other beasts that we match up against. So since we lack that damage, uh, our plant compensates that. So since our plant has dual blade, this offers us a chance to quickly kill the frontliner plant and offer some space for our backliner to sit back, save some cards, and try to win the 2v1 or the 1v1. So that ends our video. Thank you for watching and sorry for the stutters since this is my first time uh, explaining in a video. And also I've been only in the game for about a month and a half. So thanks for watching and keep grinding those SLPs.